be a network media news to our voices connecting you to the world. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, 
That is, and that was GDI, the Grassroots Development Initiative, led by Bright and Mehuli. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. speaking on behalf of the GPA governors. All of us will be here today because we recognize Dr. Nisi Wike as leader of the GPA. <laughs> Governor Ipeazu is in Lagos today because his son is getting married. Today in Lagos, and we have to sacrifice this with his consent that we have to be here to honor this invitation, though he came belatedly. Governor Makinde, who is the youth leader of the G5 governors, is in USA on vacation with his family. That is why you are not seeing him. And of course, you know that he's your in law. He wouldn't have done anything otherwise because he respects our brother Governor Nisi Wike because without him, he wouldn't have had children. He did his service here and he got married here. And today he had children and have done so well. It is the blessings from River State that made him to be governor, two times governor. President Bola Metinibu, with the likes of our brother, Governor Nisi Wike, by the grace of God, and with all of us supporting the administration, we shall get to that level in Jesus' name. So I want all of us to support, irrespective of our party, affiliation. Let us work because Nigeria cannot exist when we have no Nigeria. But if we work to ensure that Bola Ame succeed, there will be tomorrow for anybody to even contest election at all. Our leader, Governor Nisi Wike, have already made a declaration that in 2027 we are supporting President Bola Ame Tinubu. We have nowhere to go. Because that is what Nigeria has believed. Even the past administration that took Nigeria from top to bottom, we allowed them to work for eight years. So why can't a seasoned administrator, a seasoned politician, in the person of President Mora and Tinubu, to rule us for eight years? And I believe by the eight years, we shall get out of this world. The security challenges we have will be out of it. The economic problems we have will be out of it. And all the social problems we have, by the grace of God, we shall be out of it. I want to appreciate God Almighty for our brother, 
Governor Gisin Wike, and now the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And to thank Mr. President for identifying him, a great Nigerian, a departmentalized Nigerian, a man with passion for God and compassion for humanity. And his person friend, I know what people come to me to benefit from him. What he has been, the impact he has reached out to not just River State, but to the rest of Nigeria. He has done so much. This is a great man. You may not appreciate him here in River State, but I tell you, it is a confirmation of what the Bible says, that the prophet do not have respect in his own country. If at any time you decide that Wike is not needed in River State, please borrow him to Benue State, or borrow him to Enugu State, borrow him to Abia State, borrow him to River to, to, to Oyo State. We have seen his family, a great man, a visionary leader, a man who believes in one Nigeria, a man who reaches out, who has built bridges across the land of Nigeria. This man must be appreciated. We cherish him, we honor him, and on behalf of the G5, we want to say that we stay with him for life. We we'll continue to work with him because they are shown that it's somebody in us. And I'm very happy that reverse people, by the confirmation of what you have said here, is clear to us that we have not made any mistake by following this, our leader. We remain committed. God will bless you, God will keep you, and God will help all of us because we need a united Nigeria to make things work in this country. River State people, you are great. Nigerians. You are great people of destiny. You have done so well in the past, and you have a leader who is ready to unite all of us. I want to appreciate you. Let rivers, as we know it in the past, to be peaceful. Let it continue to be peaceful. Those people who are propelling and encouraging ambers of hatred and disunity she be discouraged from doing that. We must work together. We must ensure that the legacies that were built by our brother, Gokanisi Wiki, continues so that this state will continue to give sense of belonging and leadership to the rest of our country, Nigeria. We believe in this young man because he had the threats and he had the capacity, he had the leadership to even lead not just River State or Federal Capital Territory, that that's that this country. We thank God for President Bola Metinibu for identifying him and making him the most sensible and intelligent and also a ministry in the Federal Capital Territory of our government in Nigeria by making him the Federal Minister of Federal Capital Territory. We appreciate him, and we believe that by the grace of God, he will turn this around. Go to Abuja today. For those of you who have not been there, go there today. You see all levels of development in administration, in infrastructure, and all it takes is because of our brother here. My brother, God will bless you. God will keep you. I want to say, lastly, to the people of Lima State, that please, including our brother, the governor, he said something which I cherish and I appreciate it. He said that there is no amount of sacrifice that can be given for the sake of peace. Let him live to that word. We must work together. Peace must reign in River State. It is unneedful for anybody to be in crisis in River State. River State has ever been known as a peaceful state, and it must continue. 
the governor come on board with his benefactor, our brother Governor Nisi Wiki, and work to ensure peace and progress for the people of Rivers State. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you so much. Yes, one place where we can our dear leader, former governor of River State, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. The Excellency is the former governor of Enugu State, former governor of Benue State. The Right Honorable the Speaker, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, from what we have seen so far, with all the groups that have come up, there is no doubt that the wicked family, the wicked house, is very much intact. And the Excellency, I can assure you that the Elders Forum is very much intact as well. The Excellency, this forum is lots of visitors to River State and beat you. Because in all your campaigns, in all your outings, in the 23 local government areas, these are the places that were with you and brought out a successor as well. I'll be very brief because a lot has been spoken, as, as I said. I'll make two quick points. Elders were part of the process that brought out your successor. I am an Ijo man. You are an Ikori man. Oh, you is an Ikori man. And with the principle of rotation, which you exhibited at the federal level, also at the state level for anybody to bring ethnic politics into River State, that has to be condemned in totality. It has to be condemned in totality because you are a very destabilized man. Destabilized man. River State, during your tenure, achieve the highest pedestal in the Committee of Nations in this country. And your legacy will endure for generations to come. Your former governors, former governors of the state, Vadvedas Fora, declared you the best governor River State has ever produced. I hope they have not changed 
I hope you have not changed their stand in that regard. And they cannot change again. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, where we are today is to tell you that the elders who can disagree with you and ensure that we support you whatever you wish for yourself. <laughs> and we know that God Almighty will protect and guide you in all your activities in the years ahead. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. That again, Senator Alwell Oye. So thank you very, very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, it is my honor and my pleasure and a rare privilege to invite this man on stage for his address. A man who is undoubtedly linked to the success of many people, directly and indirectly involved in the establishment of many people who will call themselves successful and established people, not just here in River State, but in the whole of the country. A man who worked so hard changing the infrastructural portrait of River State, so much so that the opposition president awarded him best in infrastructure in the whole of Nigeria. The leader of the G5 governors, although some people consider them the minority in terms of number, but they, they were a torn in the flesh of everyone who stood in their way. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'd like to welcome a man who some people consider an enigma, hard to understand, but other things an open book. Please join me. As we welcome on stage, the immediate past governor of River State and the present minister of the federal capital. My dear brother, very dependable ally, and my friend, the former governor of Enugu State, Grand Service of River State. My brother, if I wise, who came with the governor, former governor of Benue State, Dr. Tom, who left after his speech because of his engagement in Benue State. Of course, they represented the G5, like I said, the former governor of Abia State, Ibazu, his son, was getting married today, and all of us were supposed to be there. Unfortunately, there was this clash of program. And then the youth leader of our group, the governor of your state, Shei Makende, who is a U.S. And uh, I think we are having this night. I 
Mama Gwen Dias. My dear speaker, who has uh, abandoned us and moved to the other side, we will meet in the battlefield at the appropriate time. The chairman and the other council, very at his age, 84, shows leadership. He's like a very young man, but not a young man, 84 years, who always wants peace anywhere he is, and continues to promote and preach peace. Very, by the grace of God, God has made everything. And so you could say, look, I'm not interested. But for him, at this point in time, God has given the opportunity to participate at this level. I will continue to preach peace. He was the one who presented me the form to run an election in 2014. Chief Ferdinand Laval. The former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, who, of course, is my in law, I have no regret to marry from a man. They gave me a good wife. And I have no regret. The Chairman of the United States has done last council. Maybe today I will speak part of it. So you know that. Life. Life is not about money or this or that. Life is about relationship. Life is about impact on other people's life. Chief, I would say, all of us know, in those days of politics, people fear Chief, I would say, all the world talking today. They couldn't talk before Chief House in those days. Today, in the Parliament, we are nowhere anymore. Although the photo, Chairman, River State National Glass Council, uh -huh. Sergeant Chief, I will say. The Zonal Chairman of our party, the Zonal Chairman, of my party, who likes titles, even though I do not know the meaning of the titles, they get in. <laughs> any, any title you call him is very important. I'm the this of Murumbo, I'm this of I'm this of Ogoni. What is the meaning? Give it. I'm this. But very dependable human being. I'll talk about it today. Chief Dan Obi. The former chairman of APC, who was my friend, was until yesterday. Until he was my friend, they abandoned me. They took him to school as a my brother. And let me tell you what about things in life. There's no money. You don't get them. Even though he left, we are still communicating. And nobody can say Victor has ever insulted me anywhere. On the pages of newspaper, on the television, never. He was looking for power for his party. I was looking for power for my party. And so I said, my brother, Friendship will not hear, I will take it to Chief Vitor Tombare Giadon. The two chairmen of, well, I don't want to say the two important parties in Nigeria. Okay, they are, but what is important, which one is important there? 
So what they did now was to skin my people. I was crying here. When I saw all the assembly members came here, the, uh, uh, then he introduced them that the speaker of the House of Assembly, who's our party member, the members of the Senate Assembly, who are party members, I put my face down. <laughs> These young men, who came to preach here today, they are loyal to me. They didn't tell me. They didn't tell me they are moving. What they said that if they have told me, I would refuse. So they said they have to do the info. But we'll talk about that later at the appropriate uh, time. <laughs> so, the two chairmen. The chairman of the party has not been happy. He comes to me every day. Chukwemega, uh, error, Chukwemega. He says, sir, I'm not comfortable, I'm not happy. But what happened? He said, how can I be minority? The last time we minority, oh, you know that. This police is me, I'm tired of I said, what do you want me to do? He said, you are the one who brought the other. He said, you are the only ones I brought. Why do you think I have influence on them? I will not have influence on other people. If you didn't pay, you didn't pay. I told my guy, and if someone left me, he told me, okay, John, I greet all of you. The two ambassadors, prominent ambassadors, from my channel of my party, who still remains in the party, the Federal Commission and every organization, Fiscal Commission, Ambassador Desmond Akawo, who was my full chief, he was the DG when I was running for governorship, two times DG, did very well, and I never abandoned him, and I will not have him. And the Ambassador, who represented Nigeria in Jamaica, and all other countries, I may not be able to mention. Who was former chairman of Ogubolo? I was not happy with her at that time. I fought her. But she defeated us. But she see my friend, Warren Damono. I thank you most sincerely. The chairman of chairman, the man who is part of everything, I will speak about it today, who was denied everything because he wanted to support me. They took his house, they took everything he owned, and he said, no problem, I will not succumb, I will continue to work with you. Felix. My dear leader, who has made name in this country, former Attorney General, former NBA President, former Leaders of God, former Chairman of Body of Air, Nature's OCJ. Okocha and his dear wife. Okay, my own. They are seeing me, they are hearing me. Hear me well. Children, even though they like a lot of titles, I don't know the one to call you. All the titles belong to you. Thank you. Them, all of them, them, I was one who paid for the funds for anybody who want to run election. Not as governor, House of Assembly, National Assembly. Let one person raise his hand to say he bought from. Let one person. We said we are all family members. There's no need to bring acrimony in our house. Don't spend their money. We will agree. 
on who will run. The way we took the final decision, the chairman of the Elders Council nearly collapsed. You see, Federal Labrava. He nearly collapsed. Oshiyo was there. Chief Awusu was there. Omeha was there. I am calling them so you know. Oshiyo was there. It's Oshiyo, I have left. You see, Oshiyo is there. All right. He was there. Fabi was there. Awusu was there. Omeha was there. If you knew what happened, for so nearly collapsed. Why? He wanted a governor for the Liberal uh, area. When I looked at him, I said, How ah, would I allow this old man to jump back? I said, Look, what the it is? Let's not create the impression that uh, people want to monopolize power. Let's allow everybody to be part of it. We brought to one reverse uh, state. He's here. If I wanted, you would have talked to me. Nobody had what it takes to even near me. Nobody. I said, no, I will do what is right. And I did it. And all of us agreed. And to go with the glory, I will not regret what I did. I will never regret what I did. Because I want the unity of this state. For us to forge a head. No problem. He had a problem. I will not mention the problem. He had a problem. And when we went to see him, everything he had was brought down. So people say, oh, let us do this. You know what he said? Sit down. Why do they have trouble? Buy global seven thousand. It crashes. Will you die? You buy car and overtakes on the road. Will you die? You must have shock. Uh, the only way can survive. This one. If you want to survive in life, you must have a shock. Uh, when we were meeting, he said, look. Somebody told him, don't worry, don't worry. Politics and betrayal are the same mother and father. If you don't want to be betrayed, don't enter into politics. I don't know what he's talking about. So, don't bother that anybody betrayed you. If you have politics, it happened. I can't believe this one. Yeah, where do you go? I found one good uh, whiskey and I drink. This was not, this was not prepared. I am fully prepared because I know that what Pedro Trigo taught me. He said, "Look, if you don't want to be betrayed, don't enter politics. Before you will enter politics, then prepare yourself. You must be betrayed." So, I'm letting foundations, some of you who are worried that the terror should not be. That is life for you. You must prepare yourself to know that this is happening. This uh, speaker we are talking about, when I was chairman of council, he was the leader of the Legislative Assembly. This young man, bless him, intelligent, committed, trustworthy. <laughs> from the legislative, from leader, leader, 1999, 1999. Then when he became leader, then he became speaker. You can see. Most of you say, eh, if they remove me, what am I going to talk? What is that? What is that? Okay, Chinda. 
When I was chairman of council, was my legal advisor of the council. Was my legal advisor of the council. From there, he grew to commissioner. From there, he went to say, look, I said, let's go. We said, we don't here. We left. And some of the assembly boards here, whom I have known, have shown that consistency. And I can tell you, what I for you today is stop money. There's no money. So many people are talking about what they don't know. I have preached and I've got not to preach for the unity, for the peace in the state. And I was signed for it. Ask people what happened. Why did matter go to this level? When people go and plot to the removal of speaker, and you think we will fold our hands, you will move speaker, we will start with you first. Who will start with you first? You want to humiliate all the about people? You want to humiliate us? To remove speaker? Eh? Hey. Now, so, after the fight, you go down. You go take a person. So people just told, everybody will just talk, talk, talk. You want to remove speaker? You, you don't go walk. All of you here, People say, I should go and talk to the assembly members. I say, why? They say, you go. I say, ah, I brought them. Who did I not bring now? So this people will listen to me. You, you will not uh, listen. Assembly people, don't they have wives? Don't they have families? And they're not on their own. Council chairman, and they don't respect anybody. How can council chairman not respect? They see people plotting evils, evil against a team, and nobody wants to talk because you want to perpetually remain in office. Council chairman, if you want to remain, stay there. I was council chairman. No regret. When you read social media, you will not drink anything from my hand. I know that well. If you say social media, you will think that this man, nah, the most evil. Look, I went to Lagos. The chief of staff had something. I went there. Somebody was there. Who was working with me? Uh, I got a media entered the place. Every Nigerian want to snap with me. I said, what? I told the Agora, what's going on? If I was in the world, you know I was in the world, but now I'm no longer there now. If I tell you when I say God, you let me have no see this picture, so. Everybody. So I told the Gura, come on. Is it me that people want us now out there? Is it devil or ghost? When I'm my friend, Timothy said, come, are you the one doing the party? I'm not the one doing the party. I said, yeah, you are doing really the party, tell me how. The next day, we went to the chairman of the FRS. He was doing something. Everybody. Okay, we want to take cell phone, which I beg you. I said, if I'm collecting money, then what I will make? We <laughs> went to London. The money were at one day terminal five, Heathrow. I was there. I don't know how many Nigerians. Can we carry a luggage? I said, what is this? Even in the train. Oh, that's, I think snap is small, small, just snap it. So that told me something. It must make impact. It must make impact on people's uh, life. Whatever position you find yourself, make impact. Forget about these people who cannot face me to fight me. I've consumed them before. I have. 
I have consumed them before. And I continue to consume them. But for the people who say, every day, some people say, okay, change, change. I say, come, you don't have a, you don't have anything to do. This ones, I know them. They're my children. I would want them to go, they will go. So why are you worrying yourself? Am I machetting? Looking very well. And I, I, I address, address, I mean, I, I mean, address uh, some people, uh, I will call their name here. I will call their name. One day, two is, oh boy. Which kind of it is? Show them the way. Follow my window. Oh. Even as they're watching me now, they see me. Network media news the only places connecting you to the world.